Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Amanda and I love all things home, lifestyle, and home decorating and I'm excited to share with you today's video of some early summer decorating ideas. We'll be in my living room for a few minutes but also we will be decorating my hutch and the shelves over my coffee bar. This time of year I love to bring out all of my blue and white decor that I've collected over the years and I thought I would mix in a little bit of yellow here here and there to give it that summer vibe. It's been warm already for a good while here in Arizona, so summer is really where my mind has been at. I like to start with the top of the hutch first with some of my bigger and taller items and these two wooden houses are from Hobby Lobby and I got them last year when their spring shop items were on sale like 90% off and I thrifted the two um, blue and white porcelain jars that I put inside. Next I like to work on this top part by putting any plates or platters that I want to display. The platter is thrifted and the plates came from Home Goods. And because I'm so weird about my symmetry, I like to figure out what's going to go in those side spots. And I found those flower arrangements at Burlington and I just styled them on top of some books. And then I like to do next what I'm going to put here in the middle part that I'm doing. And normally I like to put this um, sign that I have and it's got interchangeable sayings and pictures for the different holidays and seasons. But the one for summer had a watermelon and that didn't match. So I just decided to put a small... A blue and white plate and to display some of my pictures that I've been collecting. And now I'm just going back through and filling in the spaces. I found these sugar bowls at Home Goods, and if you've been here for a while, you guys know that I love to put out my milk glass items, and I just thought it went so well with this blue and white. These blue balls that I found at Ross, I thought would look so cute inside these wooden bowls, and I wanted them to be a little bit more seen, so I used my trick that I've talked about here on my channel before with using um, lids to candles as risers to help add height to different decor pieces and I just I never throw away my candle lids because they work so well especially when you um, have a small space on a tiered tray works perfect as risers I like putting together different vignettes here in this beautiful dough bowl. I found it at TJ Maxx last year. And I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to display this cute little tea set that I thrifted. And I thought I would pop in a couple of yellow tulips to tie in with the yellow flower arrangements down below. And it also will tie in with some tulips that you guys are going to see in just a second over at the coffee bar area. I 
absolutely love keeping some sort of command hooks over here on the side of my hutch so I can hang up my aprons. Some of them are just for display only, but most of them I use because I cook almost every single day. Okay, so coming over here to the living room, I have changed up several things. I got rid of the bookshelves that were on each side of the TV and I switched out couches. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put over here under the window, maybe like a set of chairs or maybe another small sofa, maybe a little rearranging, I'm not sure. But um, I do have some things ordered and I will keep you guys up to date as the pieces come in. I have some very large feather filled pillows that I think I'm going to replace these three back cushions with those to give you a little bit more room and a little bit more give. These back cushions just are just so bulky. Um, I love these pillowcases, especially the blue and white ones. They are so gorgeous. I got the blue and white ones and the yellow ones on Amazon and this blanket right here, this yellow one, I got at Burlington when I bought those um, two flower arrangements that were over on the hutch. The blue and white checkered blanket, the home sweet home pillow, and this really cute blue and white wicker tray are all from Ross. I wasn't sure what to do over here on the buffet, so I just put down a table runner, and then I decided to move over the arrangement that we made um, several videos ago. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it right here. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make this beautiful arrangement, and it was so easy and so much fun. Okay, so moving on to the shelves that are above the coffee station, I like to start off with a clean slate with just some platters and plates that I like to start with first for the base to add our other decor pieces. And these two little blue and white flower pots I found at Marshall's and I'm just popping in a greenery stem. And I know you've seen the copper teapot that I'm about to add before because I use it all the time and I love to put it out with my blue and white because it has that blue and white handle and it matches so well. I added some blue and white and yellow tulips in this house vase that is from Hobby Lobby. And then I just stacked up some plates for height to place some more of my milk glass onto. And down here I'm just tying in some more tulips. I'm bringing in a brass element with some greenery and then I'm just putting my Nespresso coffee capsules into this blue vase.
And I'm just adding a few more blue and white vases down here to give visual interest down lower. And I'm just putting a plant that I already had inside here. You guys will have to let me know how you thought everything turned out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!